Hello fellow bibliophiles, welcome back to our literary corner. Today we're shining a light on a remarkable author who was a master of his craft, Jack London. Born in the late 19th century, London was a man of many talents but it was his flair for storytelling that truly set him apart. He painted vivid pictures of life, love, and survival with his words, and his works have left an indelible mark on the world of literature. London's stories are captivating, filled with raw emotion and a deep understanding of the human condition. His novels such as The Call of the Wild have been translated into numerous languages and continue to inspire readers worldwide. Today we delve into the depths of one of his most admired works, Martin Eden. This novel, like many of his others, reflects London's own experiences and offers a profound commentary on society and the individual. So, buckle up as we embark on this literary journey together. The story of Martin Eden is a tale of a man's relentless pursuit of self-improvement. This classic novel, penned by the brilliant Jack London, invites us into the world of a young, uneducated sailor named Martin Eden. Born into a working-class family, Martin's life is far from the glamour and glitz of high society, but his dreams are bigger than the confines of his modest upbringing. Martin is a character who embodies the spirit of rugged individualism and fierce ambition. Despite his lack of formal education he possesses an insatiable hunger for knowledge. His world changes dramatically when he falls head over heels for Ruth Morse, a refined and educated young woman from a wealthy background. Ruth's intellectual prowess and sophistication ignite a spark in Martin, compelling him to embark on an ambitious journey of self-education. Suddenly Martin's life revolves around books and learning. He devours literature, philosophy and science with an unquenchable thirst, hoping to bridge the wide chasm that separates him from Ruth's world. His determination to rise above his social station is admirable, yet it also exposes the harsh realities of class disparities and the difficulty of upward mobility. Martin is not just in love with Ruth, but with the idea of intellectual enlightenment and self-improvement. He yearns to be a part of Ruth's world, not for the material comforts it promises, but for the intellectual stimulation it offers. His pursuit is not merely a quest for love, but a struggle for identity, self-worth, and respect. In this journey, Martin battles not only societal barriers, but also his own inner demons. He grapples with self-doubt, loneliness, and the fear of failure. But his unwavering resolve keeps him anchored, pushing him to overcome every hurdle that stands in his path. The journey that Martin embarks on is a reflection of the struggles that many face in their quest for betterment. Martin Eden is not just a love story or a tale of personal ambition. It's a profound exploration of the human spirit's undying quest for self-improvement and the immense courage it takes to defy societal norms in pursuit of one's dreams. Martin Eden is a character that many of us can relate to in some way or another. He's an individual driven by an insatiable desire for knowledge and self-improvement. Martin is a sailor turned writer, a man from humble beginnings who harbors a deep ambition to rise above his social class. Martin's character is marked by his unyielding determination and resilience. He is a self-taught man who believes in the power of education as a means to uplift oneself. Like a sponge, he absorbs every bit of knowledge he can get his hands on, from philosophy to literature. However, his strengths also become his weaknesses. His relentless pursuit of self-improvement and recognition often blinds him to the realities of life and leads him down a path of self-destruction. On the other hand, Ruth Morse, the woman Martin falls in love with, is a representation of the refined upper class that Martin aspires to join. She is well-educated, sophisticated, and hails from a wealthy family. Ruth's character is a stark contrast to Martin's. She is the embodiment of everything he desires, yet she struggles to understand and accept his raw passion and intense ambition. There's also Russ Brissenden, a fellow writer and friend to Martin. Brissenden is a cynical character who has lost faith in the world and its values. His character serves as a mirror to Martin's idealism, providing a sobering perspective on the harsh realities of the literary world. The antagonistic characters in the novel, such as the publishers and critics, further accentuate Martin's struggle. They symbolize the societal barriers that Martin faces in his journey, emphasizing the disparity between his dreams and the reality. In essence, each character in Martin Eden plays a pivotal role in shaping Martin's journey. They are reflections of the different aspects of society, from the ambitious working class to the refined elite, from the cynical realists to the dreamers. These characters, with their unique traits, contribute to the rich tapestry that forms the narrative of Martin Eden. Martin Eden is more than just a story, it is a commentary on society and the human condition. 
This masterpiece by Jack London is a cauldron of themes simmering underneath the surface, waiting to be discovered, understood, and appreciated. Let's delve into the heart of the novel where class struggle, the pursuit of knowledge, and the disillusionment of success are the three prominent themes that bind the narrative together. The class struggle is a constant undercurrent in the novel as Martin Eden strives to rise above his working class roots. His relentless pursuit of knowledge is his vehicle, his means to transcend the societal limitations imposed upon him due to his birth. This pursuit is not just a means to an end, but it becomes an end in itself, a thirst that cannot be quenched. Now let's talk about the disillusionment of success. Martin Eden's journey is not a typical rags-to-riches story, it's a journey that takes him from ignorance to knowledge, from poverty to wealth, but leaves him isolated and disillusioned. His success does not bring him the joy he anticipated, instead it becomes a mirror reflecting the shallow values of the society he once aspired to join. As we dive deeper into the narrative we encounter a wealth of symbolism that adds depth to these themes. The sea for instance is a powerful symbol in the novel. It represents the vast uncharted territory of knowledge that Martin is eager to explore. It's also a symbol of his isolation, as he finds himself adrift in the sea of his success, unable to anchor himself to the shores of the society he once knew. The character of Ruth is another compelling symbol. She embodies the elitist society that Martin aspires to join. However, her inability to appreciate Martin's intellectual growth signifies the society's superficial appreciation of true knowledge and intellectual depth. Through Martin Eden, Jack London gives us a lens to view society and its constructs. The novel is a mirror reflecting the societal norms, values, and expectations that shape our lives. And through this mirror we are urged to question, challenge, and ultimately understand the world around us. Reading Martin Eden is an exploration into the depths of one's own aspirations and the relentless pursuit of success. As I delved into the pages of this masterpiece, I was captivated by the realism of the characters and the sheer rawness of the narrative. Jack London's depiction of the titular character, Martin Eden, is nothing short of extraordinary. Martin's journey from an uneducated sailor to a successful writer is as inspiring as it is heart-wrenching. Throughout the novel, I was struck by the timeless relevance of the themes discussed. The struggle for self-improvement, the yearning for recognition, and the pursuit of love are all aspects of the human experience that resonate with us today. The novel's exploration of class struggle and social mobility is as pertinent in the 21st century as it was when London penned it over a century ago. Martin Eden's relentless pursuit of knowledge and self-improvement spurred by his love for Ruth is something that many of us can relate to. His journey is a testament to the transformative power of education and the importance of perseverance. However, London does not shy away from portraying the darker side of success. The isolation, the disillusionment, and the eventual self-destruction that Martin experiences serve as a stark reminder of the cost of unbridled ambition. The novel's ending, though I won't spoil it here, is a powerful commentary on the futility of material success without emotional fulfillment. It left me pondering over the true meaning of success and the extent to which one should go to achieve it. In my opinion, Martin Eden is not just a novel. It is a mirror that reflects our own aspirations and fears. It is a book that leaves you richer, both intellectually and emotionally, long after you've turned the last page. It is a testament to Jack London's genius that this novel continues to resonate with readers even today. In the end, Martin Eden is a profound exploration of the human spirit and the lengths one can go to in the pursuit of their dreams. And that, dear friends, is the captivating journey of Martin Eden. If our discussion sparked your curiosity, we encourage you to pick up this masterpiece by Jack London and experience the journey for yourself. It's a tale that resonates with many of us, exploring themes of love, ambition, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. If you found today's video informative and enjoyable, don't forget to show your support by subscribing to our channel, giving this video a thumbs up, and sharing it with your fellow book lovers. Your support helps us to continue bringing these book discussions to you. We always appreciate your comments and thoughts, so feel free to drop them below. Perhaps Martin Eden has already left a mark on your heart or maybe it's on your reading list. Either way, we'd love to hear from you. Thank you for joining us today in our literary corner. Until next time, keep turning the pages. Goodbye.